Well, there's already been a rather enjoyable simulator release this year, which was Car Mechanic Simulator. As you might not be able to tell, this game was also released this year. It's called Forklift 2014. It goes by a couple of different names, and it's created by none other than my favorite game company, UIG, who also make the woodcutter games. So I'm sure most of you guys would have seen my woodcutter videos and the Agricultural Simulator, which they actually changed up the name of this year, but I didn't even play it because it's always the same old, same old with these guys. It's not really fun to play the game, it's more fun just to laugh at the game company that made the game. So unbelievably, even by the title screen, it is very pixelated. We are playing on Max graphical settings, and of course we're back onto my old computer, unfortunately, because it didn't, my new computer wasn't reading all the RAM, and I had to get my motherboard, uh, put it RMA, like a return thing in and oh it's just annoying so we're back to my old computer but that is no problem because i've got everything up and running now anyways uh, i really should have read that but pretty much the main gist of this game is we're in a uh, shop right now supermarket and music should be gone but a little car also makes a heck of a lot of noise as well um there's a little section for trucks over there which we can pick stuff up from people walk through each other this guy looks like uh, one of the characters from team fortress 2 if he actually dressed up correctly best thing is we can uh, drive over people as well we can't say no to that but this game is incredibly tedious if you guys actually checked out uh like the uh screen before where you could choose what level you wanted to play uh, it's very similar to road construction simulator if you've played it that you'd know what I'm talking about but we're playing at a uh, smooth as a baby's bottom 10 frames a second really so <laughs> I can't imagine this come will come out very well on uh, recording but let's go move this up supposedly you can uh, also tilt the fork backwards and forwards but I don't seem to be able to do that all I can do is uh, move it up and down Maybe left and right as well. No, I can't even move it left and right. Just up and down. Can't tilt it. So that's a bit of a problem. But we should be okay. Can't look around all that much either. We've got four, I think, settings over here. It's an interesting looking vehicle, that's for certain. Must say I've never seen anything like this. This is more like a Costco supermarket. Whereas in Australia, we don't really have massive supermarkets. They're big, but I've heard stories from my grandma who... Uh, lived most of her life in Poland that people have like roller skates and stuff in supermarkets the workers do so they can get from uh, different places pretty quickly. I'm, I'm sure it would have changed by now. I'm sure they have like some segways or something. But we need to head outside. I've got no idea how many times we've got to do this. Uh, but it'll get tedious very, very quickly. <laughs> which uh, I think is understandable though. And I'm not quite sure why do we need to put this box of whatever. Let me see it. It's Vino del Toro. I guess it's wine. And we're in Italy. Maybe it's a uh, Italian brand of wine. Okay, anyways. Uh, let's make sure we're still in the green box. Put things down. Drive back. At least the game recognizes that we've put things back properly. That's a positive. And now they're directing us to the next crate. Hopefully it's just like three or so because things really ain't changing that quickly we've got 17 minutes I think we'll be good well, you'd hope so because I definitely don't want to retry this ever again really I'm only doing this for once in my life let's just drive over these people people even walk through each other which is interesting and they all seem to strike the same pose very uh, ponderous pose at that. Alright, where is this? It's on the other side of the aisle. We've even got some construction workers. It doesn't look like a very well finished uh, supermarket, we'll just say that. Concrete everywhere, really. Oh. Thankfully, there's no damage, really. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Some milk, the blue stuff. Uh, don't tell me I'm stuck. Oh. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. Oh, God damn it. The control. Yeah, I also should mention that the uh, controls are rather abysmal. There we go. Now let's just reverse here. If I'm able to. No. Drive forwards. 
Reverse. Forward. Reverse. Ah, oh, come on. You can't be like this. Okay. Oh my god. Most frustrating game ever. I just want to bash my keyboard to be completely honest with you. I'll get there. How about we have a look at what the problem is? You can't even see what the bloody problem is. Like, you, you literally can't move the um, screen at all. Here we go. I'm, I'm assuming that might have got us stuck a little bit more. I think if I press backspace, there we go. It's like they realized that this would happen in the game. So if you press backspace, it's like tilt on a um, pinball machine. Because this is just ridiculous. There we go, we just jumped up. But yeah, it's, uh, it kind of goes to show just what the uh, creators thought of the game if they're doing things like that, giving us ways to uh, jump out of pickly situations. lift that up back outside we go we th think we got to go to pretty much the exact same place we were at before but yeah unfortunately I did I'm still going to do that uh, computer vlog etc going through my computer and uh, just giving you an update on the channel what's happening because not much has really been happening really uh, I've done well I've recorded most of Thief I haven't finished it yet but unfortunately all of that's on my old computer even though it's on the Xbox 360 I'm because I reformatted formatted this computer as well. It's uh, it's frustrating. Because I wasn't really expecting my new computer to have faulty parts, but still waiting on what Asus will say. I'm sure they'll blame it on me somehow, but like, because there were a couple of bent pins. It was only like six or so, but because I had to reseat the CPU, I tried everything trying to get the RAM to work. There we oh, okay. Jeez, we've got a lot of time there. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the task. Points for time bonus is 14,000. Uh, congratulations, you have unlocked the High Bay Warehouse section. Oh god, so much reading. There are, at the delivery entrance, new pallets that have arrived. Within the specified time, bring the respective pallets to the locations. Yes, yes, we can't really damage stuff. Alright, so let's exit this. And... Okay, Highway Bay Warehouse. Production, let's see the last one. So obviously that's going to be the most interesting. Although it seems, oh, uh, that's it. It's just the port area and that's it. Okay. Uh, other options in the game. Uh, time attack mode, free play mode. I'm sure we've got to unlock this. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at the uh, second thing then. Alrighty. So yeah, this game's been out, I think, for around a month or so already, so I haven't really heard much of it. Uh, I think there's probably a reason for that. I mean, it's much, much worse than Woodcutter Simulator, and that game was pretty interesting. Um, okay, you're just repeating yourself. Let's have a look at different controls. I'm guessing controls are always going to be the same. That's a very interesting steering wheel. Let's have a look at the uh, glorious machine that we are driving. Looks like some kind of rape dungeon. These guys are... Oh God, what are they? They're in a uh, rather tender embrace, really. No homo. Right, let's get back in here. Actually, I like the other view for here. For this truck... Uh, where, oh, I don't know. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to reverse. Can't even get around that way. Let's bring the fork up. So we're going to be using that. And it's right up around here. Okay. Um, the problem with these, this thing is, oh, uh, as another guy walks right past us, is that it's very hard to like, yeah, no, this is ridiculous. Because you can't move the camera about at all. Hmm. You can move it left and right. But see, you need good camera angles to be able to do this well. We need to lower it just down a little bit. I'm hoping that's going to be good enough. It seems like it is. I'll lift it up. Okay. 
Which, no, I want to bring it closer to me. That, that, we'll lift it up then. No. Alright, this game is really starting to frustrate me. <laughs> yeah, alright, I think I'll leave it at this, and I'm not going to continue this unless there's some massive demand for it, but for my sanity, it's been a rather tough month, really. Lots of things breaking, which I'll update you guys on. And, uh, of course, new computer and all. So I'm not going to frustrate myself anymore. I don't want grey hairs at the age of, uh, ripe old age of 21. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.